that would be really really cool i'd be so excited to see something along those lines you know we're so spoiled with seeing so many wild dogs so many cheetah all the leopards and every single lion you can think of from cut to female to males we're very spoiled i, I like this thing. It's very much like bread or or you know what else i'd be so excited to see a caracal a caracal with kittens which is yes I've changed my mind. A caracal with kittens, and Kirst says she said the same thing, which is very exciting. I haven't seen that in a long time. Oh, turtle dove. Then picked up a little stick. Thank you. You see, everybody plays their bit in conservation out here. You've seen myself and the rest of the presenters picking and moving sticks off of the road. Well, thank you, turtle dove, because if it wasn't for you, I don't know how I would have got past that area. <laughs> I thought for a minute was maybe going to take it and fly off with it, which would have made sense. It would be the perfect stick to build a home. However, that seems as though it's not the case as it goes, well, walking up and down the road. I love the way that they walk from side to side. A little serpentine pattern. Very nice. That was something I tried to get my horses to do often. Hey, see, it's got another stick. Did it, and it dropped it again, eh? Just picking up sticks. Yes, and now that one. It is, too. So I don't know if anybody else has experienced this, but if any South Africans are watching, you'll remember the game Pick Up Sticks, where it's the, one of the most pointless games in the world, but it provides lots of fun and lots of fighting with uh, siblings. We always, it was always an argument. I think he's actually creating a barrier. I don't think he wants us to go. No, nope. he's flown off and found the perfect stick. It did take a stick with it. Hang on, there might be a nest here. It's just flown into this bush willow. So there's a game called Pick Up Sticks, and what I was going to say is that it looked like it had, was putting the pile of sticks in the middle and then we're trying to pick them up. There it is. You can just see its head. I don't know if it's still got the... Yes, it's still got the twig in its mouth. A little one. So it went from taking the biggest twig that it could see to taking the smallest. And I wonder if it maybe... Here it goes. Where's your nest? So that's what it's doing. It's not trying to block us. Oh, it's obviously starting a nest somewhere. There it is. Do you see that? There's another one. You see it? So they're, on, they're sitting on a nest. Yes, another nest to add to the list. This is so cool. Ah, oh, sorry, I've got... I, those flies are now dead. They, I have a mosquito bite, and the flies were biting my mosquito bite, and I killed them. I'm just telling you right now, I murdered the two biting flies because they were hurting me and I don't even feel one inch bad about that. I'm not, it is self-defense. It's exactly what it was, it was self-defense. That was horrible, that was so painful. Why do they want to do that to me? I like these turtle doves, they're a little bit better. They don't want to hurt us. They are just here building their little nest. Oh, this is very, very romantic. So now we know every time we drive cheetah cut line and we see the doves walking around here, I'll have to make another marker on my map and we can see if we can watch them grow. The only problem is, is that they're not on our traverse. They're just in Torchwood, about not far at all. Probably about 12 feet, maybe a bit more than that, maybe more, maybe more like 20 feet. I seem to exaggerate or not give enough length when I give uh, measurements. But they're very happy. Now, it's impossible to tell, just because of all the leaves, how far that nest has come. But they will keep reinforcing it, making sure that it's nice and strong, especially when the little chicks hatch, because the doves can have quite a few eggs. I think the most eggs I've ever seen in a dove's nest is about four or five, or quite a few. But typically, it's about normally three eggs uh, that, will, that they will have. But they can have a couple. And depends on quite a few things. How much food is around is one of the main things. If there's not a lot of food, how much competition is around and temperature and all of these things will depend, will, will tell you how a bird or how many eggs a bird can lay in one go. Hey, okay, and I've got another fly. You will die like the rest of them if you bite my leg. Very cheeky, the flies today. I'm going to have to pick up a quarry branch, I think, on our way past a quarry tree. Because this is nonsense. This is not on. But there's the female sitting very happily on her nest. Isn't that cool? I think this is amazing, but we won't bother them for too much longer.